All right, people, welcome back to some more card review. So the first week was, I'd say, a pretty great success. You know, everything went smoothly, gained a nice chunk of subscribers, uh, lead coming up soon, and uh, we're just going to keep it rolling. So this week for card review, we have two suggestions. The first one is Fusion Recycling Plant, which is this video, and then on Wednesday, you will be getting Pot of Desires. I can't believe I actually didn't do something involving Pot of Desires. It definitely seems like a card I was talking about, but I checked my archives, I never did, so... I will give my opinion now, since especially since things have changed when it comes to that card, uh, and give my two cents about it. But this video is completely about fusion recycling plant. So let's look at it. The so fusion recycling plant is a filled spell that reads: once per turn, you can discard one card, add one polymerization from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Once per turn, during the end phase, you can target one monster in your graveyard that was used as a fusion material for a fusion summon this turn. Add it to your hand. So. I think this card's actually pretty good. I really do. Uh, some of the Yugi tubes were ragging on it, saying that it's you no, know, it's not that great. It's, it's too slow. And then somewhere it's like, yeah, I think it's actually pretty good. And the reason why I think it's actually pretty decent is because I get to add Poly from my deck or my graveyard to my hand with one single card. Especially being a field spell, as we know, we love our terraforming. So uh, I won't be surprised if you just see triple terraforming, triple of this, and then just one poly. And even if you drawn two dead copies of the terraforming or other fusion recycling plants, you could just pitch them to get your poly back. And really, with this card, it just makes you want to run only one poly. I seriously doubt anybody's really going to, you know, get rid of that one poly. I mean, who cares? But uh, to be able to grab it back from your deck or get it back to your hand, that's a thumbs up for me. I, I like that. I like that. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, the second effect is pretty good as well, just a little bit slow. But you know what? Uh, the only thing I can say about that second effect is better than nothing. Uh, the card literally could have just had the first effect and it would have been fine. But the fact that... Konami decided to go ahead and slap that second effect on that. During the end phase, I could go ahead and just target one of the monsters in my graveyard uh, that was used as a fusion material and add it back. It's pretty decent. It really is. Uh, now, of course, there is a card that's similar to uh, this card. There's a couple. Besides the whole, all right, I get to add poly back from my graveyard. I get to add the monster, the fusion material back from my graveyard. Of course, the fusion recovery. Yes, that card's great too. And that card is a plus one. Because I play it, I grab back the poly, I grab back the monster that was used as the fusion material. I traded one card in for two, I went plus one. Great. But fusion recovery doesn't have anything to search it. You get it, you get it, you don't, you don't. This, it's a field spell. Terraforming, you got it, you know? Uh, when you activate it, it's, uh, I'd say it's a pseudo neg. Um, it's not necessarily a neg when it counts to the resources currently. But it's a card that's one less card in your hand that doesn't do too much at the moment. For example, I go first, I have five cards, I play this card from my hand to the fill spell zone. You know it's there, it doesn't do anything on activation, it doesn't plus me, it just sits there, I have four cards left on my hand. So it's kind of a pseudo neck. Even the whole discarding to get a poly, that's an even out, you know? And then it even takes me a little while to you know, actually get a plus. And even then, it's not plus because I had to neg to even do the fusion summon in the first place. So, you know, the fusion mechanic is definitely not the greatest mechanic. I mean, I could go on a rant right now about how the fusion mechanics on the weaker end of things, you know. Uh, the fact that I need poly plus the materials to fuse, I'm generally going neg two, neg one to two, uh, to bust out a, a fusion monster. Uh, and why the farther you get, the stronger the mechanic is, which is why Synchro is a little bit stronger, because I don't need to do the additional neg, I don't need the poly, I can just, you know, as long as I have a tuner non-tuner, but then you got contact fusion where I don't even need the, the tuner non-tuner or the poly, so, you know, it just gets said it gets better and better, it's, but, uh, this card is actually pretty good, you know, uh, I don't think I would just outright replace it with fusion recovery, but I can definitely see you changing up the ratio of things, I can definitely see you just throwing in triple terraforming, triple of this, and, uh, one polymerization and just keep on just discarding grabbing the poly back during the end phase grabbing the fusion materials back uh it makes fusion decks stronger going first which generally fusion decks aren't really decks that like to go first now i think about it you know uh when i think about fusion decks i'm thinking about fluffles i'm thinking about lunar lights i'm thinking about like gem knights and stuff uh they don't really like to go first they'd rather you know allow you to go first uh and then you know get rid of your resources by you know popping or one upping or maybe just OTKing or, or dealing with your resources because their first turn plays aren't that strong. So if they're first go forced to go first, forced to go first, first <laughs> forced to go first, first to go forced. 
<laughs> now I'm just saying things. All right, if they're forced to go first, they can go ahead, play this, fuse it up, because usually they want to hold off. There's no point in, you know, really fusing, losing resources, revealing too many cards. It's not going to do anything. But if there's something necessary, it'd be nice if they had stronger, more defensive fusion monsters. Uh, then during the phase, just go ahead and grab one of the materials back to get back in their hand. Uh, they can pitch cards, get their poly, get them set up now, deck then, especially with, you know, uh, triple terraforming, triple this, and this will be able to pitch to grab a poly. Uh, from the deck or graveyard like it's that deck or graveyard thing that just makes this card stand alone yeah there's cards that can grab poly from the deck yes there's cards that can grab poly from the graveyard but there's not just one single entity card that can grab it from both except for this and you know what i gotta respect it for what it does so overall i don't think it's a crap card i think that it has its place uh it's a, it really depends on the speed of the deck that it's in um i could possibly see maybe maybe the little lights playing it uh, Fuffles seem like a little bit fast, especially with how quickly they can get cards to their hand with stuff, uh, with their draws and their penguin and their uh, wings, kind of bear coming. So fusion card probably better for them. But um, you know, if you're just playing a little simple fusion deck and you want to throw in there, especially if the the deck has its own fill spell that you kind of want to throw it in there and throw some terraformers in, then that's not a terrible idea as well. It'd be this is one of these times where you know you wish chicken game was legal. This way you can kind of throw in chicken game as that fourth fill spell for your three terraformers because that three to three ratio is kind of amp, but at least you can just discard the dead cards for that poly back. So overall, this this card gets a thumbs up for me. Thumbs up for me. So uh, there you go. There's my opinion about fusion recycling plant. So uh, tell me what you guys think about fusion recycling plant in the comment section below. Of course, I will be back on Wednesday with another card review. Uh, when it comes to the, the channel, things are going pretty well. Um, if you click the eye, you can see the other playlist for all the series that are going on. The end card, of course, you can click on those. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Click that bell for notifications to get notified when I'm uploading, when I'm doing things. And uh, overall, just thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And uh, we're going to keep the channel going strong. All right, people. Thanks for watching.